perhaps you even had a formal ball at the end of your school year. Well, nowadays it seems that American-style proms are all the rage, so we sent Stuart Leakes to a prom in Essex to find out why. Back when I was at school and we wanted to hold an end-of-term disco, we used to call it a ball, and we were lucky if we got a glass of pop, a bowl of jelly, and one of those party sausage hedgehogs. But that was 15 years ago, and things are a little bit more sophisticated now. We certainly didn't hire a stretch limo to take us there like these year 11 pupils from Chelmer Valley High School, who were heading to their prom at Stock near Chelmsford. There was only a few schools that were doing it a few years ago, but now you'll find every school is accepting the fact that the kids want to want a ball now, and they want to turn up in a limousine. Uh, following on from the States, you know, I mean, I suppose like 10, 20 years ago, there wasn't a great deal happening in America either, but, you know, like anything, we're normally about 10 years behind the United States. Back in 1993, our version of a prom was held in the school assembly hall, not in a country club like Stockbrook Manor. And in my day, not even the rich kids turned up in a helicopter. Because we've all left school, so then it's a good time to get together and see each other again just before you... Because those people leave after GCSEs to, um, instead of going in to do A-levels. It just gets everyone together and uh, so everyone can see each other during holidays before everyone goes off to college and splits off. It's just something to look forward to after you do GCSEs. <laughs> Once they're inside the function room, though, things did start to look a bit more familiar. Lots of youngsters in a variety of smart suits and dresses, a few brave people venturing onto the dance floor, and a finger buffet, including the obligatory party sausages. So why are these events now described as proms? I think it's because it's all come from America, really, and it's all got bigger dresses and all fancy. <laughs> bigger cars. Yeah, <laughs> bigger cars. Because um, our school is a bit pretentious and trying to be American. Perhaps then a prom is just a rebranding of the good old school disco or ball. Maybe the venues and modes of transport are a little more extravagant. But some things never change. There's always someone sat in the corner that no one wants to dance with. Stuart Leith's Anglia News. And he probably arrived on his bike. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite so glamorous as a helicopter. No, but I'm sure you had just as much fun however you arrive. <laughs> Here's the weather with Wendy.